Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're gonna to talk about the Dell PowerEdge R220 server. And in this video, we're gonna specifically focus on memory. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today. to a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R220 server. Do us a favor, find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. Now, this video will be specifically dedicated to memory. So let's hop into the good stuff. There are four DIMM slots inside. It accepts DDR3 memory. It takes one type of memory and that's ECC unbuffered. It will not accept ECC registered or load reduced. So if you're at home and you're seeing ECC registered out there cheaper than ECC and buffered, it would be nice if it worked, but it won't. So don't fall for that trap. Don't buy registered. You'll just end up with a problem and an RMA on your hand. So make sure you get ECC unbuffered. It takes a number of different DIMM sizes, one gig, two gig, four gig, or all the way up to eight gig. No, there are no 16 gig ECC unbuffered DDR3 modules that don't exist. So eight gig is gonna be the highest that you can get on a per dim basis. And the different speeds are 1066, 1333, or all the way up to 1600. So that's what you're gonna get, which means the max that you're gonna get is 32 gigabytes using four eight gigs at 1600 speed. And if you need that memory kit, we have it on our website and we have it in stock and can ship out right away. All right, now that we know a little bit more about the speeds, the sizes, the types, let's show you how to install them. But before we do, I'm gonna grab my ESD gear and be right back. All right, I have my ESD gear on, we're safe to work on our machine. All we are gonna need is our memory to do the upgrade. And technically, if you have have this set to lock you will need a phillips head but most people just leave it set to unlock so we're just going to go ahead and slide this push this down and slide this back remove the top so as we mentioned before one cpu and four dim slots and one of the things i wanted to point out that you'll notice is that there are two whites and two blacks. What that means is that there are two memory channels and there are two DIMMs per channel. And this is important in you know, systems that are a little bit bigger than this. This is a little brother system that only has four DIMM slots and one CPU. But let's just say you were only putting in two eight gigs or two four gigs. Where do you put them in? Well, first off, it's a put in four eight gigs and just max this thing out. But if you're only putting, let's say two eight gigs, you're putting them into the two white dim slots, okay? Now, if you're putting in four, then the blacks come in to place. But if you're only putting in two, you're gonna put them in to the two whites. Well, what about if you are only putting in one? Well, if you're only putting in one dim slot, you're gonna wanna put it into this slot right here. So this slot right here, this is dim slot one, dim slot two, dim slot three, dim slot four. So that's your order right there. So again, one, two, three, four. So one of the things I always like to do, I like to pop open all of my tabs so that way when I install my memory, everything is uh, easy to go or easy to install. And the other thing I always like to point out is that when you're installing your DIMM right here, there's a notch known as a key and that notch is not perfectly centered. And because it's not perfectly centered, you do need to make sure that you have your module lined up properly. In this case, it's gonna be lined up this way and facing that direction. The other thing I wanna note, this is a VLP module. There's technically a, uh, a VLP, which is very low profile, and then a low profile, which is probably what you see most of the time. Both of them work just fine. This just happens to be a VLP, which isn't too uncommon for the unbuffers because these are used a lot in the blades. So again, the first slot that we're gonna install is right here. So we're just gonna slide this in. And you wanna hear those two clicks and that's letting you know that your tabs have come up and successfully pulled your dim slot down and made your leads fit in perfectly so that everything is gonna register. Uh, that's probably the most common, and not, I shouldn't say probably, that is the most common user error that we see is uh, customers who think they have a bad dim slot and realistically they don't have the module fully seated. Even if you have the, the tab out just a little bit, like say like that right there, that'll make it not fully seated. It needs to be all the way in. I know that sounds ridiculous, but that's one of the most important things that we always tell people, rotate your dims around. If you think you have a bad dim, find out if it's the dim or the dim slot. So just move them around and it's the easiest way to troubleshoot. And a lot of times just by rotating them around, you will resolve the issue. So now we're gonna put in dim slot number three and then dim slot number four. And just like that, we have successfully upgraded 
to the max 32 gigabytes, which is definitely what I recommend for an older machine like the R220. Well, hey, if you made it this far, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built servers, whether that's Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we do new and we do use. We do spare parts like memory and SSDs and network cards. If you need an iDRAC license, if you need a Microsoft operating system, we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center, your home labs business. Check out our website, email us at sales at cloudinjus.com. Take care guys.